Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this automotive tire pressure monitor system that you can install on any vehicle. This one I have here is made by a company called SNAN, and the model number is TPMS-002. Let me open it up, and I'll show you what the device looks like. So here we have four individual tire pressure monitor sensors. This is the display unit that you plug into your cigarette lighter to power the unit up. Here are all the parts you get with this kit. As you saw earlier, these are the four individual wheel sensors. This is the display unit. Over here, this is the hex wrench. This is the opener tool that you can use to open up the sensor to replace the battery. Here are some washers and locking nut. And this is a warranty card. So let me show you how to use the opener tool to open up one of the sensor to replace a battery inside. Now typically the battery will last over two years. The first thing you want to do is open up this tool and you have two sides with different keyed ends here. Take one of the sensor, remove the end cap here, and that will expose this keyed area now both sides are keyed. We'll take this end and place it here. Take the other tool and place it over this end. Now we can twist this and open this up. Here you see the battery. This is CR1225. Also you'll notice that there is an O-ring here. If you need to replace it, they do provide extra O-rings. Now we'll put this back together. And just screw this back together. On top of the sensors, these are marked left front, right front, left rear, right rear. So you want to install them in the correct corner so that when you look at the LCD display, it'll tell you which tire have low pressure. On this display unit, we have USB output. Also, there's a set button here. On this end, you plug into the cigarette lighter. The sensors will operate between minus 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius and it communicates with the display unit using RF frequency 433.92 megahertz. The sensors have an accuracy of plus and minus 1.5 psi. Besides monitoring the tire pressure, these sensors can also monitor temperature. So let me show you how to install them and set up the display unit. So first I'll remove the cap off the tire valve. Then install this locking nut that comes with the TPMS kit. Here I have the right front sensor. Once it's tight, we'll turn the nut back up. using this tool that comes with it go ahead and tighten that nut and this will prevent the sensor from coming loose so now I'll go around and install the rest of the sensors here's a look of the wheel with the sensor installed it's not too big doesn't look too out of place On the display unit, I'm going to remove the protective film. Now I'm going to 
plug this into the cigarette lighter. Okay, so let me turn on the ignition. Now after a couple of minutes, the unit will start beeping and it'll scan for the sensor. Once it's established communication with each sensor, then I'll give you the readout on the display. Let's go through the setup of this unit. At the bottom, there is a button you can press. You want to hold it for three seconds and it'll go into setup mode. Now the first menu is the unit of measure. By default is PSI. Press it once and it will go to bar. Press it again. It'll go back to PSI. Hold it for one second and it'll go to the next menu. This is the high pressure alarm. And each time you press it, it'll go up in value all the way to 99 and then it'll go back to 32 I'm gonna set my high pressure alarm to 45 psi now hold it down for one second to go to the next menu this is the low pressure alarm and I'm gonna set this to 32 hold it down for a second this is the temperature alarm now the temperature measurement is only in Celsius so default is 70 degrees Celsius when you're done with the setup hold down the set button for three seconds to go back to the main display Now with everything set, if you turn off the ignition, the unit will turn off. And when you turn on the ignition again, the display will be available right away. While looking at the tire pressure display, if you want to change it to the temperature display, just press the set button once and it will toggle to the temperature reading of each tire. Press it again. Now go back to the tire pressure reading. Now as a test, I'm going to remove the right front sensor that will immediately drop the tire pressure and we'll see the alarm go off. And you can see the middle of the display has the tire pressure icon flashing and also the reading is now zero. If you want to mute the sound, then go ahead and press the set button at the bottom. So let me go over a couple of things why this is a great device to have in your vehicle. Because I know some of you watching this might be saying, well my car has TPMS sensors already so I don't need this. And it's true because starting in September of 2007, all the cars sold in the US uh, need to have TPMS as a standard feature. But depending on what type of TPMS system your car manufacturer installed in your vehicle, it can differ as far as what kind of information it can give you. For example, this Nissan Quest that I'm testing on right now does show tire pressure for all four wheel but it does not tell me for which wheel it is so if let's say I have one of the displays showing me uh, 30 or 29 PSI and it's low on pressure I don't really know which tire it is on my other vehicle which is a Honda Odyssey that one also has TPMS but there is no display to tell me the tire pressure only gives me a warning if the tire pressure drops to a certain level one other point to note is that the TPMS sensor that the manufacturer installed on each wheel has a battery inside and after about 10 plus years that battery can die and it won't give you any more reading so when that happens you have two options you can either go straight to a tire shop tell them to unmount the tire, replace the sensor, and mount that tire back on. That's going to cost you money, the sensor and the labor. Or the other option is to wait until you need new tires, which can be a year or two years later. By having this device, you don't have to rush out and replace the sensors right away. So as you can see, this is a great safety device to have in your vehicle. And once you set it up, you don't have to look at it all the time because it does have an audible alarm that alerts you if the tire pressure drops to a certain level. 
I hope you enjoy watching the review of this SNAN tire pressure monitoring system and I will put the link for this product in my description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one below and also don't forget to click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.